Hello and welcome to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Yes, the embargo has lifted today, which means I can play the shit out of this. So ignore what I say in the vlog that's coming out later today about not having the game. A massive, massive thank you to Ubisoft for sending me a review copy so early on as well, which meant I could get it all filmed before Life is Strange and Tales of the Borderlands. It just makes my life a tiny bit easier in the grand scheme of things. So without further ado, Let's get the shit started. Yes. The past is your playground. Abstergo. I do like Abstergo. I don't no, no, no. What do I say? I don't like Abstergo. I don't like Abstergo. Um, I like this bit though. I like that they do this shit in the game. Hephaestus, welcome assassin. Hello. Hello, initiate. Hi. Recently, Abstergo Historical Research began several new projects in London. We both know that when Abstergo makes big moves, the Templars are up to something. Yeah. We think they're hot on the trail of a new piece of Eden. I've got people in London looking for it. Hey, Bishop, Jacob and Evie Fry are twins. How awesome is that? Speak of the devil. Fire up your cameras, Beck. What is going on? Are we in watchdogs? I've got picture. ETA on the payload. You fly a drone inside a... Sending it now. Cool. Hello. A lot to sift through. I'm going to get the initiates on it ASAP. You look weird with a weapon. Let's plant a little bug and see what we can see. Got something. Isabel Ardant has a meeting here in a few hours. Uh, doesn't say with who. Doesn't say with whom, Rebecca. I suppose it's down to Muggins here to find out. Hold on. The mission was to find data to locate a piece of Eden in London. We did. And now I am eager to try this new kit. Is that a mini taser? Instead of a little knife? <laughs> I don't like it when those two go off book like this. All we can do is take a deep breath and move forward. You'll be searching for the peace of Eden through the lives of Jacob and Evie Fry, twin assassins who operated in Victorian London. Your first set of genetic memories are downloaded. Good luck. Thanks. So that's Henry Green. He's our contact. Brother George, it is as I feared. London has fallen. Thrice I have written to you begging your aid. Thrice you've responded with silence. And yet I write again. So desperate my need, so few my options. I need you. London needs you. You would say it is too great of a task, or that it is not yet time to strike. Patience, you would counsel. But whilst you wait, the Templars consolidate their power. They have chosen a Grand Master so ruthless, so thorough, one might think Reginald Birch himself had returned. His name is Crawford Starrick, and he intends to rule the world. There is no aspect of society he does not control, no industry that escapes his grim touch. By day, it is corrupt merchants and venal politicians who hold court. Come night, a vicious street gang known as the Blighters strikes terror in the hearts of all. There is no business untainted by his poison. No person unexploited, be it by duplicity or force. Our enemy has designs on the highest office of them all. No, not the queen. Don't and you touch so, the queen. As you look inward, and dare I say it, afraid. Crawford Starrick's ambition is fixed on the beyond. To kingdoms and continents as yet unconquered. Though not for long, for he knows. As I have warned you, time and time again. Whosoever controls London controls the world. Very true. At least in Victorian times, we were at the height of our power. We controlled India. We had, you know, some power in America, um, various other places. And of course, if the Templars were going to strike from London, this is the time when they would do so. Although if they take Queen Victoria out, I will fuck them up because... Don't mess with my monarchy.
The iron ship's from here. The Templar running things is Rupert Ferris and our target one. Yep. Target two is Sir David Brewster, who's got his hands on a bauble that could ruin us in this wretched war. Think you both can handle it? Yeah, dude. What a question. Uh. All right. My mistake. Ladies and gentlemen, the unstoppable Fry twins. See them nightly at Covent Garden. Let's do it. So these, of course, are the Fry twins. These are the main characters of the game. George, honestly, I've studied the plans of the laboratory and have every route covered. And I've got all I need right here. I'll extend your regards to Ferris. Chat later, George. We have a train to catch. Yay! Train trains! Easy! May the green guide you, you vagrants! Poor man. More afraid than ever. Years have not been kind. Evie Fry, where do you get it from? The same place as you, Jacob. So these two are slightly off the books. A little bit cheeky, Jacob especially. Have fun. <laughs> Don't die. Which is nice, because we need another one of those. We need another Edward. Right, let's go in the ironworks and fuck them up. So this is in Croydon, this isn't in the centre of London yet, obviously. This is setting the story up. Because that was George that Henry Green writes to. Ah! Oh my god. How long does the intent to go on like this? It's disrupting the other workers. That is and get the machine fixed. And send me some laudanum for my head. What a dick! That's a small child's been right. crushed. But that that's what it was like in Victorian times. It was cruel, um, kids worked. They were very dangerous conditions. The cotton machines and things like that would take your fingers off. Things like this as well would do some damage. Right, so you may have already seen a few bits of bobs from me uh, across the last few months. Um, I have played, I think it's Secrets 2 onwards, I could be wrong. So when I get to that bit, I will of course speed through it as quickly as possible. So there's people who did watch the original videos, you know, aren't waiting around for me to finish it. Um, I, because it's day one, I'm hopefully going to put quite a bit out today, which means that we should get ahead of ourselves quite nicely, because obviously I am very uh, conscious of the fact that um, I've got two or three weeks to finish it before Tomb Raider and Fallout. So we're going to be quite quick um, about the whole thing. I'm aware I'm not being quick now, I'm just sort of trying to remember the controls. But uh, let's, let's fucking go, dude. So Jacob is a bit more of a law unto himself. Um, Evie is a little bit more of a stickler for the rules, but even then, you know, just how it is. Can I do stuff with these? Just out of curiosity. No. Can I get? Uh... It's that, isn't it? God, I've forgotten all of this stuff. Locked. What do you think you're doing? No one goes in or out, unless there's a problem. We could make it a problem. I hold the machines. That door opens and I have my route to Ferris. So yeah, this is the very hand-holdy tutorial bit, just to remind you how the fuck everything works. Ah uh, yeah, the wheels are for something. I did think they might be. Oh, it's, it's sorry, it's that, not sneak. Again, gotta get used to it, buttons. Always work on the fly. These machines are amazing. Like, the sheer ability that we, like, manufacture these machines. Some of it is mind-blowingly amazing. The steam engines, the sheer size of some of them is just like, wow. I mean, this one here, it's like, how the fuck did we make that? Like, if you compare it to some, st like, it's just, and some of them still run. It's amazing engineering work for the times. It really is. Hello. You waving at me. Oh, hello. There we go. Right, so we've done that. So hopefully, Ferris will come and go, and then I can kill him. What's going on, guys? What's all this? Which one of you is responsible? Me. Ah, the sanitary inspector. 
This man is dead. You're the dead man! Me? Really? Are you sure about that? I don't think I'm dead. You're going against Jacob, mate. I've got fucking brass knuckles. Dude! Oh! Get him. There we go. Oh! Oh, yeah, there's combos in this as well. So, you know, they've taken a little bit of some of the other games and uh, run with that. So it's uh, it's an interesting one this time round. But I enjoyed it quite a lot, especially with Evie. The combat with her, despite the fact she's not supposed to be combat friendly, was like, fuck, this is fun. Jacob's pretty fun as well. Um, now, you'll notice there's XP. In fact, can I show you it yet? No, it's not going there. Just, I'm being careful because I don't want to spoil stuff for you guys. No, I can't show you. There is an e-store. I will, I will point this out. There is an e-store. You could buy uh, XP boost and shit like that if you're lazy. However, you don't have to. Um, I know in the last one, in Unity, there was too much currency. It was very hard to actually manage to do stuff, wasn't it? Um, legitimately but in this one it did seem a lot easier when I played it for like three hours to generate currency without going oh I'll pay to win also there's less types of currency there's only two instead of like five which makes it even easier Ferris coming where is he is it him no whoops oh, okay right Time to head for higher ground. Yep, 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 yep. Oops. Would help if I was pressing the right buttons, wouldn't it? But that's fine, as I said. I've got to remember what I'm doing. Climb the crane. Yes. Ooh. So I guess we might have a few of these as synchronization points along with towers. Uh, oh no. Okay. Oh, lovely. I was like, where's it, where's it going to go? No, it's not, mate. I know how detection works. We all know how detection works. Doesn't mean I'm going to follow it. Because, yeah, we'll just, um, just sneak away. Oh, i just kill you. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Just put this, put this on my face. So there's levels above them. Again, I, I sort of talked through this quite a lot in the um, the videos I did before. But uh, there is a leveling system with the character. There is also a leveling system with the NPCs. So when you go into uh, Vision, you can see what level they are and therefore how hard they're going to be. Versus the, I think it was like a five star system in, um, in Unity, which was always a bit like, mm, I don't know. This one's a bit more, a bit easier. Also, the sound thing is quite handy as well. You can sort of work out people making noise from different places. Hello. And if you're me and you're quite lazy, I'm just gonna like, hi. <laughs> uh, I won't be able to do this later in the game as much. I'm just abusing it. But this is the easy bit where you, you know, learn what the fuck you're doing. What is this? Oh, it's a... Oh, it's the door. Okay, I see. There he is. Is that him? No. No, can't be him. There's a few of them. Stealth! Right. Yes, yes, yes. Let's, um, just... You hear what Starak are planning next? Airships. Yeah. Incredible, isn't it? Airships. If they do airships, dudes. Like, airships is perfect. It's a perfect concept for um, Victorian London because we saw it with the Order. And an airship level, I would ship myself and be a happy person. Oh, shit. Come here. I'm just going to hide around this corner. And then, uh, just. <laughs> that sort of didn't work, but whatever. Whoosh. There we go. Yeah, run away, children and women. This is amazing, though. Look at this. So this is a... Uh, it's an anvil. A hammer and an anvil, basically. Just a giant one to make parts. 
it's crazy that we had the ability to make stuff like that back in ye olde days. Good old industrial revolution. Right, um... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this, because fuck it. I get XP for every kill, by the way, and vanish. Hello! So, I may as well just take advantage of it. Come on, then. There we are. See? Makes sense. And it's practice. Oh, hello. <laughs> See, I'm slowly leeching loads and loads of XP. Why are you calling people out? Once I've named you, move out of the way! Harvey! We're gonna break you, kiddies, in! Oh, God, it's the children. Yeah, so children were in factories. I know I said this before, but that's gonna be a big deal in these games, um, is just the abuse of... I mean, it's effectively slavery. People worked for very little. Um, and, yeah, it was atrocious conditions, appalling wages, um, you were lucky if you didn't die, and it was just, yeah, it's just not a nice place to be. Mate, uh, let's turn that off for a minute. Can I go... Can I go to this light? Oh, dude. Go for that, good man. There we go. No, I'm not gonna hurt you. You're right, buddy, I'm not here for you. Short time working, notices, destination. Birmingham, Nottingham, Derby. Terrible accent. They all blended there. Uh, danger, various hazards, mechanical failure, uh, may something occur when operating large machinery, uh, something about overheating. Yes, there's so much shit. Can I read this? If, oh, I can if I get closer. In fact, all of these have text. It's not just like little waffly things, it's actually words. So, um, mechanical failure may occur when operating large machinery, boilers and retorts may burst due to overheat. These are all the dangers that kids and women and just everyone who worked in these factories faced. Uh, you could fall over, you've got iron lung irritation, which is one of the big things with smoke, inhalation, chemicals, poisoning by carbon monoxide, burns, um, soot fires, explosions, just everything was horrible. It was so horrible and like noise levels and shit like that. It was, you were lucky if you survived in one of these places, in, one, in a foundry or similar, without some form of casualty happening. But you were expendable because it was that's just how it was. Mr. Ferris, sir. The, uh, the lad in the factory should be taken to be bandaged by the apothecary. Fine. But dock his wages. Yes, sir. Sometimes the wages would be so docked that you might be working for years to make it back if it was something ridiculous. Oh dude, look at this foundry! Should we arrive at a final price, Mr. Ferris? Check this fucker out. Look at it. That's pretty snazzy, isn't it? Although, there's a guy. I can't really see any, um... Apart from the distant... Distant, uh... I was going to say distant future there. I can't really see any, uh, anyone. So maybe we just have a little run. Hang on, was that a ladder? Ah, yes, I will go up your ladder. Oh, we've got up your ladder, sir. There we are. Uh, yeah, over here. Yeah? Nice. All right, still. Oh, shit. Lord. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Oh shit. Hello. Kids, get out of here. I salute you. What do you drop? Three pounds. Three fucking pounds. That's actually not bad. 
get this guy, get this guy, get this guy, get this guy, and yes! Good man. You right, kids? I got you. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, hello. Three men, one man. No man. Man. Um... I like this though, I like this already, I like how this game's been set up already because it's starting you with an assassination. It's, um, and they said actually when I went to see it, they're like, we're very keen to make sure you know who the final villain is at the start so you have, you know, there's a direction, it's not just suddenly, oh, it's so and so. It's a very clear mission from the start and he has a lot of associates. I think I, think I counted like 13, so assumedly we're going to have quite a few assassinations this time round. Entry points. Amazing. I'll take this entry point, thanks. Yeah, 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 whatever, mate. You're dead now. Good night. I like that being a tutorial. That was a nice tutorial, wasn't it? It is done. Oh? What did you accomplish, boy? A bolt loosened in Starrick's machine. A large bolt. But not enough. Your Grandmaster will fall. You assassins can circle London to your heart's content. The mechanism we have built has been going strong for a hundred years and will run a thousand more. It is the very city itself. We will take London from your hands. From Croydon. You lurk in the shadows like a coward. I doubt it. Well, I guess we better leave Croydon then and go to London itself. Ugh. Dude. Is that a trophy? Do you do that with all your kills? You wipe the handkerchief over their neck. Because, dude. <laughs> also, people ask about the Jack Ripper DLC. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry, madam. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to... Dis yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna... I'm, no, I'm going. Don't worry. I'm not interested in you. I'm interested in getting on the train and getting out of here. Oh, dudes. I like this. The, um, I'm enjoying the sneak. The sneak is actually quite smooth. Get on the train! Chop! Whee! Here we go. Oh shit! Oh no! I'm being chased! Fuck off! Fuck off, mate! Oh dear. Uh, yes, well, fighting on moving trains. <laughs> Not surprised it did that. To be fair, I think I was supposed to kick them off and it didn't really work. Come on, them. So they're supposed to be like um, an execution where you knock them off the side of the train, but I don't think that worked, and as a result, that's what you saw. <laughs> Not that I'm making excuses for it, because fucking hell. We're all at the point now where we don't we don't want excuses for Assassin's Creed. Hopefully it'll be fine. Mate, get the fuck off this train. Bugger off! There we go. That's the kill that I think was supposed to happen. But because I tried to kick them off there, it transported the back of carriage. Oh well. Oh dear god, these guys won't give up, will they? What's your bottle, boys? Oh wow, they've had to say what bottle is in the subtitles in case I assume the Americans don't realise that bottle means nerve. It's also bottle, not bottle. From Croydon, mate. We should get some really nice cockney rhyming slang in this, I hope. There's some silly ass shit. What the fuck? No, don't run backwards, just jump off the fucking train! Dude! Why did you just jump to the side? Why does no one ever do that? Well, we seem to have made an unscheduled stop. Why 
Why do you make such a mess all the time, Jacob? I mean, for fuck's sake. Oh, we're going down. Okay. Where's Evie, anyway? Oh, oh shit. We get down. Come on. Let's get out of here. Oh. Oh, fucking out. This mess you've made. Look at it. It's just fucking terrible. Oh! Whoa! <sighs> maybe next time I'll walk. Yeah, maybe you should. Or I don't know. Maybe just be a little bit, yeah, more respectful of people's stuff, yeah? 